This is Wednesday morning, November the 11th. I'm really excited. Uh, this DIV I think is gonna be better than some. They're all good. I've never been to one I didn't like. But this particular one, I'm really super excited because Coles Hill, which is where we're going, the last time we hunted it was about four years ago, I think. It was DIV 19. And that's been a while because this is 30 DIV 32. The point being, at DIV 19, very few people had pulse or excuse me had GPXs. A lot of people had TDIs, and those are decent machines, but the GPXs um, <clears throat> were few and far between. I had actually had borrowed one for that hunt. Did really good. Uh, but that was a borrowed machine. Didn't really know what I was doing with it. I mean, I had some some time with it, but I mean, obviously, if it's a borrowed machine, you ain't gonna have so much time on it. But the point is, a lot of people were using TDIs and not GPXs. This time around, there's a lot of GPXs out there, uh, so we're gonna be getting a lot of depth um, <clears throat> that we didn't get before. I believe personally that there's gonna be a lot of pits opened up that weren't opened up before. And we all know how awesome the pits at Coles Hill are. They are spectacular. A lot, a lot of glass. I mean, tons of glass has come out of Coles Hill. I think we're over 600 bottles now that have come off of that farm uh, on DIV. So I'm on uh, on the interstate heading to uh, Culpeper right now to meet some friends. Got a little pre-DIV dig going on today and tomorrow and then we will be hitting DIV. Um, one of the hardest parts of leaving this morning, I'll be honest with you, is uh, leaving my little four and a half month old son. <clears throat> that was uh, that was kind of tough because, uh, you know, obviously this is the first DIV since having him. So anyway, I've talked long enough. Uh, we're gonna be uh, meeting uh, Scott Gary here in a few minutes to go do some digging. All right, we just pulled up here. There's a little bit of mud, a little bit of moisture on the ground. Got my buddy Scott Gary over here. I'm gonna do a little pre-DIV dig. First relic of the day. And Scott just hollered at me, said he found a round ball. Just got this sweet little canteen spout out of the ground, man. I am super happy with that. It was given a mixed turkey gobble signal from the surface. And then once I got some dirt off, it started sounding, it cleaned up and got, got turned into a low tone. And that was down there pretty good, probably a good 13, maybe 14 inches. Um, maybe this is a pit. It'd be nice if it was. Well, as you can hear, we got a lot of interference here. There's power lines close, and occasionally the power lines make the machines go nuts. But I did hear this signal really, really deep. Uh, and now I've got it out of the ground. Listen to this. That is a great signal. It's another J hook. <laughs> wow, that was really deep. That was probably 14 inches. It might have been more. I'm gonna make sure that's not a pit. That's, that was way down there. All right, I had a mixed tone that's out and it sounds really good. And it's a shotgun shell. <laughs> All right, I've got a banging low tone out of the ground, and I'm I'm thinking it's going to be something really good, but I'm not sure where it's. It sounds like a soda can, but man, this could be a plate. I don't know. It's uh, it's right in here. Soda can. <laughs> Never know. Here's the finds for the day. One little teaser piece of glass, some bullets, two J hooks, two um, uh, canteen spouts, carved bullet, piece of a pocket knife, and a cuff button back. All right, there's my buddy Scott Gary, and up there is Gary Alexander. This is the morning of November the 12th, 2015, the day before DIV. 32 and we're doing a pre-dig got a um, <clears throat> a real quiet low tone um, I think it's probably a bullet 
Uh, it's mixed in with a lot of iron signals, so we're going to dig it up. And this time I got somebody to hold the camera so it's not as <laughs> shaky. <laughs> the reason I use a big shovel like this is because you can move way more dirt with it than some of the other shovels I've used. Um, it's just a $10 Walmart shovel, nothing fancy. Um, <clears throat> but uh, when you're digging with uh, a beat out camp and, you, and you're digging deep holes to get the stuff that people have missed, you've got to move a lot of dirt. Big shovel's nice. All right, let's see what we got. Is yours on? Yeah. It's out. hear how it's breaking like that but that's because the I think it's still gonna be a bullet even though it's breaking the coil was really close to the target that's a bullet real deep it's got a that looks like a ramrod mark on it I don't know if that's maybe a worm mark that could be cool good deal back to flash you can hit that okay button in the center had a really really quiet low tone that is now out of the hole came out of the bottom of the hole around 12 to 14 inches here's what it sounds like out got quite a bit of blanking um, but it sounds good enough to me that where I'd still want to dig it That is going to happen sometimes. Hmm. Alright guys. Uh, <coughs> something I wanted to pass along to save you some trouble when you're out digging with the GPX. <coughs> I was coming down the hill. Right there is my, my backpack. So I was digging my way down the hill. <coughs> couple couple dig holes. And I had ground balance up there by the, by the backpack. Well, as I came down the hill, unbeknownst to me, the ground changed, and I had, uh, you know, I became out of balance and didn't really notice it because it wasn't very, it was kind of subtle. So right here, I was listening. I was uh, had a, what sounded like a deep, deep high tone. Opened up this big hole you see right here. That's probably 16 inches wide and 8 inches deep. And I didn't really hear it get louder. Still heard it, but it didn't get louder. So just on a whim I checked it to see if I was ground balance and I heard the same signal every time I pumped the coil right over here <clears throat> so I was out of balance I've just rebalanced and uh, there's nothing in that hole it was just out of balance so save yourself the trouble and try to ground balance uh, whenever you go up and down the hill got a nice uh, high tone out of the ground actually I see a little bit of ash here now that I'm looking I think oh, that might be something else anyway high tone out here it is I think that's a button. Thing sounds so clean. This is my favorite part of a dig right here. The anticipation. Oh, I see green. It's a grommet, I think. It is. Yeah, it's a little grommet. That's all right. That could have been a cuff button. Alright guys, I wanted to get this on tape because this, I think, is a really, really, particularly deep low tone. Uh, it's like my camera's not focused. I don't know why. Maybe it is. Listen to this. Actually... Never mind, that's not, it was a quiet nail, probably 10 inches or so, I'm guessing. Um, I forgot to turn on the target, like I always preach. Uh, but now that I did, 
you hear do 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 that's a nail wow all right never mind it was a nail moral of the story turn on your targets all right i'm pretty sure this is a, bu a deep bullet listen long tone does not double tap and of course it's no break even if that was iron it probably wouldn't break at that depth all right scott just walked up to me and he's got something in his hand <laughs> <laughs> wow that thing is barely tarnished at all <laughs> oh wait a minute you found that here just now oh you jerk somebody around. Oh yeah, d big time. <laughs> Put that in somebody's hole when they're not looking. We need to get, That's one, funny. We need to get one of the newbies like that. <laughs> yeah. How's it going? So I got some dirt out now. Scott's recording again for me. So I'll tell you what, if you want to come around, look, get real close to the headphones. So the headphones can... side and, and a few minutes before I dug that there was another I thought I heard that first but then there was a, a loud annoying signal here turns out this was a little tiny short nail that was real hard to find got that out of the way and this kind of didn't I wouldn't say it cleared up but you could see okay now that's its own signal separate from the other one sometimes that's good move some signals out of the way Nice if this turned out to be a pit. Somebody should get into one some, some point today. They're out here. deep bullet. I don't know how deep that was. Probably, I'm guessing about 14 inches. That one's been wormed too. See that? Isn't that cool? Yep. Good stuff. It's all in here. We just got to take the time to get it. Alright guys. Uh, this signal I thought was going to be way more shallow than it is. And uh, I'm down uh, I'd say about 16 inches and it's in the bottom of the hole. I've expanded the hole enough to know it's in the bottom. There it is. Well, it's pretty darn deep. We'll pause and see what it is. All right, guys, I got some great, great news. I still have not got to the target, but look what we got right here. That is ash, my friends. And that's about 14 inches. So we are in some kind of a pit. Let's see what we can hear. Whatever it is, it's still in there. I'm gonna hand the camera to Gary or to uh, Scott again. If you ever wonder what it looks like for me to be excited, this is it. Because <laughs> this is what I wish for every day when I go digging. I think that's probably the target. Exactly where I thought it would be, but there's a bullet. No, oh, no, oh, that's that's bone. <laughs> Makes me happier than if it was a bullet. There's iron. Deep, deep iron. Look at there. Look at the ash. <laughs> it's some kind of big old bolt they had probably down in a hut or a little trash pit or something so that led us in and we are 
Yeah, there's ash all over the end of your show. Oh, your yeah. This nine. is um, nine inches long, so to there was nine plus another five, or probably plus another six, that's 15 inches. And if you see that in a hole at DIV, and if you don't want to dig it, you need to let somebody know so they can dig it. Because that's definitely a, a pit. And get a, you get the close-up of the ash. Watch it. See all the ash on the end of the shovel here? And Mike's holding a piece of bone right there. That's cow bone probably. Now this may just be a little shallow trash pit or fire pit. I don't know. But either way, I'm just glad to be in one. Make it off and take it back. That sounds good. I tell you what, I'm gonna check this again though, just to make sure. Anyway, all right, you can hit stop on the okay button. Mike is investigating some ash he found in the bottom of the hole. There's some ash. You see this? Oh, yeah. So we got him there, Gary's coming over to investigate my pit. I think what I'm into is a little hut there. And over here, Scott's over there doing some digging. Yeah, I think it's a shallow hut, that's what I think it is. You got anything? Um, there was a bolt. <laughs> I found this bolt at about Oh my God. Six, 16 inches and then um, I'm on the hut I'm on a hut floor right now oh you think so mm-hmm it's either hut or a trash but like right here uh-huh there's a little bone you can see boom there it goes here's the bone yeah yeah 152 year old bones amazing back in a flash Mike's got some kind of brass showing in the bottom of this hole he got a rivet out already. Now he's going down. Whoa, dude. You're down there. There's the culprit right there. Yeah, it looks like a belt a belt keeper, maybe. That could be dude, you oh, oh, Mike's in one too. That might be a hut. Alright, I'm gonna pause and I'll get back with you when he gets it. Alright, we got it out. It is a What the heck is it? Folded up something. Hmm. You know what? I don't even have a toothbrush on me either. Uh, man, I don't know what it is. It's folded up brass for sure. Once we figure it out, we'll let you know. Back in a flash. Alright, Mike's down about two and a half, three feet, and he just pulled out the first button. I think, man, I think it looks great. Mm -hmm. Awesome, dude. He's got some broken glass that's come out. And of course, that piece of brass, we don't know what it is. A nail, bone. Awesome. Mm, dude, that thing's going to really produce. Alright, Mike said he's still got his pinpointer going off in the 
going off strong. I can hear it from up here. What? Oh, that was a rock. That's burnt wood. I think it's something bigger underneath where you're at. Move some more dirt and we'll find out what that is back in the flat. What you got? Piece of is that iron? Yeah. Feels like iron, but probably like a strap. Yeah. I wonder if that's a strap. Probably a barrel like folded over. Could be. Connected to oh yeah, could be. Good deal. Mike's over here still steady working on the big old pit he's got. So he had the bottom of a Ellenville Glassworks bottle come out. Still working on some signals. Not a bullet, not a bullet. Here's Doc Rodney working on a what looks to be a hut maybe, we're not sure. Some kind of pit. He's got a lot of bones coming out. Here's some of the iron. Barrel bands what got him in. A couple grommets. Big piece of bone. Wow. Crazy. <laughs> That's right, baby. Let's get it. People that I can see everywhere where you are this week. <laughs> That'd be cool. Do not pass over onto their property because uh, it's illegal and they've got extra extra people watching. So. <laughs> Huh. Stay off of it. I kind of, I kind of busted him a little bit about why they don't let us relic hunt on it, but you know. No, it won't do any good. Uh, tomorrow morning we're gonna start at seven. And sa uh, Sunday. Nice. Hey, bud. Here come the hordes. Here comes the the best digger of all, right yeah. here. <laughs> Where are you heading? We're gonna try over to Bottle area again, I guess. Yeah. Hey, um, down below there. And to the left, nobody ever really opened up pits there. Right. There ought to be some good ones in there. Yeah. There ought to be some La deep Last time I came there. here, it was already. First bullet of the morning. There's a. Uh, as last time we were here, there's a uh, broken glass in abundance in this area. <clears throat> we're down here in this bottom, down by the creek. Here's my buddy Clem digging away. And then uh, over there, I don't know if you can quite see him or not, but that's Doc Rodney. And Bill Comfer is over that way. It's going to be a great day. High tone in the hole. There's an electric fence around here, which is not good. I think it's up on the hill there. We had a problem with it before, but... In between the pings on the electric fence, I'm still able to hear signals. Let's see what this is. Darn. This new uh, pro pointer is so sensitive. A lot of times I have to rebalance it. All right, we're going to pause and get back with it. All right, it's out. Sounds pretty good, but like I say, the... Oh, darn it. Oh, wait a minute. Is that, is that a rock? Oh, thank God.
this darn fence is jacking me up because it's hard to differentiate sometimes. I'm having trouble locating this thing. I can hear it playing with this. It's over here more. Oh, it's a Kepi buckle. Sweet. <laughs> it's bent, but that is a Kepi buckle. Awesome. Great way to start the day. My foot is where I just dug that Kepi. Got another nice high tone here. Flipped the plug out. Listen to this. That is not iron. Whatever it is. Uh, I think it's it is camp lid. That's cool. Pretty much every hole has bricks and glass in it, but it's all shallow. I'm gonna sneak up on my buddy Gary here. See what he's digging. Got this little sniper coil. He's gonna find some relics in here. Uh, hey, Tony. What you digging, Gary? Uh, what, you, what you digging? Not much yet. Not much yet. <laughs> no. How about you? I just got a cappy buckle and a butt and a bullet right there. Oh, did you? Cool. Yeah. yeah. Piece of camp lead. But the, you hear the electric fence? No, not with this thing. I do. Great Ooh. day. Is it hard? It's it's uh, it's it ain't making life easy, but it's it's doable. Yeah, this little coin. All right, Clem just signaled me that he got something to do with a shoulder scale. He's tapping his shoulder. See what he's got. Was the exciting time. See what people are Ooh. <laughs> oh, brass. That's nice. Yeah. Shows Heck here. yeah, man. That's awesome. It's in here, man. I'm was it deep? <coughs> it wasn't too deep. Yeah, eight inches or so. Six, eight inches. Yeah. Cool. All right, guys. Starting to be a feeding frenzy right here. Of course, I'm gonna say that quietly because all the people around. But I dug a target uh, here, and I think here like within three feet. I just got another high tone here. It almost sounded like a double tap. Almost didn't dig it. Uh, but the, the high portion of it sounded clean and almost separate. So I popped this out, listen to this. Sounds pretty good for the most part. I'm breaking a little bit, but my cool is really close to whatever it is. What the heck? That looks like modern trash, I think. Either that or it's gold plate or something. That's modern trash. Cool. Non ferrous anyway. Bullet. Dug uh, a few of these so far. Button back. Um, the cuppy buckle, as you saw earlier. And it's a lot of. A lot of targets in here. Looks like Chad got something sweet. Looks like a bayonet. Oh, nice. Heck yeah. That is awesome. Where was that? Pastor, well, if you turn this corner, you'll see about 30 people up there now. <laughs> yeah. There was nobody up there. Wow, how deep? This side of the fence or the other? This side. Not the up in the corner, close to two feet. Wow. Oh, you must be in a pit then. Yeah, I got glass, a little bit of charcoal. Sweet. Um, and some lead, but there's not a whole. I'm gonna dig a little bit more out, bro. Man, that is awesome. <laughs> Good job. So, up on top of the woods? Yeah, like pretty much. Uh... Well, the uh, finds just keep coming rolling out of here. Uh, that hole right there had a bullet at about 15 inches on the right side. And uh, after having dug a number of holes, and um, you know, find something that's in it, put the, the plug back in, 
only to find that there was another target on the sidewall. And that's happened multiple times this morning. After that happened, I made sure that I checked the sidewalls to see if there were other signals. And there was, in fact, an eagle button right down there in that, in that side. So I had to open that up pretty wide. Uh, just multiple signals, you know, multiple targets of different types even in the same hole sometimes. They're just a carpet of relics here at about 12 inches that are just all through here. A lot of brass. There's Scott Gary, Ed Vest, Clem McNoor, Doc Rodney, and Gary's up at his truck. Hey Gary! Gary! You find any relics in that truck? I'm getting yeah, I'm changing my car. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Clemens got a good one. Very nice. How deep is that? 12 inches. There's a lot of stuff down that deep, you know? So just now, I called Scott over because he wanted to hear a bullet tone. We dug a bullet right out of the center of this hole right here. And now we're hearing another low tone here. We got some glass too. Yeah, check out the glass. That was sitting right in the bottom of the hole. And then, so we hear a low tone on this side. It sounds like a separate low tone here, and then there's a separate high tone over there here. So we're gonna go after this one first. Actually, we're just making it lighter. That's been happening multiple times in this area. You dig a hole and you wind up making it three times bigger. Is your machine still on? Yeah. I'll use that if you don't mind. Breaking pretty good, but let's get it out of there anyway. A little piece of iron. That might have been the high tone we were hearing, but now we'll listen to the. Actually, no. The high tone is still over here. But there's probably another bullet right there. Maybe it's a plate. Uh, well, this looks like a partially melted bullet. Oh no, that's fired sharps. Huh. Go figure. Now we got the high tone on this side. Hey, what's up? Hey, not much. I got into a pit up there. Oh, did you? Yeah, I, I uh, dug a nail and two inches down, I saw uh, some ash. Uh huh. Yeah, I took a few of the piece of broken bottles. But I was wondering if you could tell me what this, what this used to be. Probably a cathedral, uh, or excuse me, not a cathedral, a um, champagne. Oh, man. Yeah. I wish it was, this was sitting in the bottom of this hole just now. <laughs> oh, was it complete? Did you, how big was your pit? We're recording again. <laughs> I have another high tone over here. This is the same hole you just pulled a bullet out, correct? Two bullets. Yeah, we had the one in the center. That is just so clean. That's probably a button. Button back. It just it just blew up in the hole. 
Oh, that's happened now multiple times today. See how the front or the where the front used to be, the inside of it's real clean. That just blew up in the hole. A lot of eagle buttons in here. Back in the flash. The, uh, so we just pulled that button out and we thought that was it. Checked it and there's another high tone in there. Two, two bases in the same hole. That's crazy. Two bullets and butt back. All right, we pulled one out just now. That's actually breaking pretty good. I'm not sure what. There's another one back there. Good grief. Let's see what this is. So this is thin pieces of iron that are breaking up. See that? That's I'm sure that's what that other one is. So that's what it was. Stack and flash. Y'all see that? Got brass in the bottom of the hole. I don't know what that is. Looks uh, sort of linear. I mean, this round is weird. Yeah? It's got a bullet. Yeah? It sounded deep on the thing. It wasn't the greatest signal. Yeah. Dug the hole, popped it open. Breaking up like iron. I almost didn't dig further because it sounded absolutely like pure shit. Yeah. Pumped it out and then it sounded like a good bullet again. Wow. That's weird. weird. I almost, I mean, when I pulled the plug out, you know, you listen to it and it broke up. And... Yeah. You're hooked up. Dude, I got brass in the hole. I don't know what it is. Do you mind taping? It's on there, it's recording at this point. And my battery's almost dead. What do I need to do? Just point and I'm, I'm getting ready to dig breath. I have no idea what it is. It sounded weird from the top. A decent size, whatever it is. Kind of looks like a plate, but doubled up or I don't know what that is. Holy cow! It's got a it's got an edge like a lining here. And it's like some kind of like a cigarette holder or matchbox holder or 
But it's not. No, no it's folded it was. Two, it was folded. It? it was whatever it was. It was folded. But the corners are intact hmm. on all. Of them. Yeah, I don't know. Huh. <laughs> this just came out of the ground at a foot high tone. Second core badge. Now those guys there got into a nice deep pit there, probably three feet down. Got three bottles out so far, some broken bottles, and um, what we've done is changed locations. Um, Scott, Gary, and I came over here to, there was a guy that said he had partially dug a pit, but he didn't finish it, and so we came out to work on that, and we cleaned it out, and didn't find anything, and we're going to see if we can't dig another pit in here. All right, this is the morning of day two. Got some batteries on charge here. I label my batteries. I even labeled this one old because the old ones have been wearing out faster than the newer ones. Got my apple pie here from Miss Ada, which is really good. And got some music going this morning and getting ready to head down to breakfast to get some coffee. Back in flash. But you see, there was one. There ain't rocks anywhere else in this field. It ain't like the rest of them. Uh huh. All you gotta do is find some damn rocks. That's kind of what we're thinking. Wow. That's cool. I was wondering if it was a foundation or something. Here's Colin Chapman. He got a sweet champagne. That's nice. Yeah, that looks good. Got a bunch of broken glass here. Bricks. Yeah. All the right stuff, and he's got a big signal down in the hole. I do. Good times. Oh, that just came out right there. I can see where the bottle was sitting. Yeah. That's awesome, man. I haven't done anything else. That's a good deal. All right. Good luck. All right. Good luck. I got a high tone down in the hole. Pretty deep, I'd say. Oh, it's, it looks like camp lead. Well, somewhere in here. Wow, a bunch of it. Well, yeah. Big old hunk of camp lead. That's pretty deep. It's about a foot. Alright, I got a low tone out of the hole. Doing a high tone now. I don't know why some of the bullets out of the hole give a high tone, but they do. There it is. Three ringer. Mike's getting ready to pull a button out of the a lot of dirt right here. General service. Thing was in there. We got Roland Frodig, Doug Harris, Dan Hatcher, Mike McCarroll. And we're, uh, Dan got an awesome hut there yesterday and the day before. Got 20 some bottles out of it, that big pot he's working on. That's what got him in. And if every hut had a pot that big, we could get into all of them, but they don't. So Doug Harris was probing right there where he's standing. Got a little bit of ash on the probe. Now he's three or four feet down and he's got bone and ash and uh, barrel bands. So I'm digging a hole right here. Mike's digging a test hole right there. We're going to go down three feet and see what we can find. It's running.
Hey Van. Yes, sir. If this does turn into a pit, then we need to do a lot more of this all across this field. Ooh, that's a big bottle too. Look at that. that was oh a wow. Big bottle. That was a monster. Holy crap. Is that a champagne? Uh, uh I don't know what that is. What that is. Well then let's call it. Yeah, if you go, yeah, it's easier than that, if you don't want it. Look at that. Alright, uh, you can hit the OK button in the center and that'll Got a nice tool there. Very nice. Clean up. What's all this, Mike? This not, man. This oh, 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 oh. I bought it for me, left it at the hotel room. I gotta find one. Chris Edwards, got my breastplate. Wow. Got a nice U.S. base in there. How cool. Wow, that bottle there. That is just killer, man. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, um, Char George C. Hubble and Company. That is a killer bottle. Golly. Look at those pipes. Oh, look at that. Those are hard to find. <laughs> that is sweet. Dude, that is really, really nice. They stand up too. Golly, where'd you get that? In the front field in front of Smith's house, Gregory Smith's house. No kidding. Alright, got a high tone out. It's actually in the bottom of bottom of the plug. Can't play it. There's Doc Rodney over there. Bill Comfer. Actually, Bill might have left. No, he's there still. And some other folks. Last day, last few hours. Here's my buddy Scott Gary. I got a, a high tone, pretty easy high tone. Well, where'd it go? It was somewhere in here. Trouble finding it. I'm gonna listen with the machine. All right. I think I'm gonna have to shovel some more dirt. All right, I've moved some dirt around in here, and it has gotten considerably more rocky in here than it was in the rest of this field. I mean, it's loaded with rocks. That might be why nobody was digging over here much. Finally got to it. It's actually a little deeper than I thought it was going to be. It's about nine. Well, I can start to hear it at nine or ten inches on the pinpointer. I mean, all these darn rocks. Just amazing. And if you're fearful that I'm going to hit the button, you're not alone. I'm a little fearful myself, but my plan is to pull some of these rocks off and then check with the pinpointer again right now. There is brass. It is a brass button. And it is a drum roll eagle button. Cool. Hard one, but worth it. All right, here's a, well, it's a high tone in the ground. And it's mixed out. 
metal detector is competing with the airplane for noise. Anyway, let's see where it's at. Now I know good and well. Go on airplane. Hmm, it wasn't that quiet. Well, he's having trouble. Maybe he did that on purpose. There it is. I think it's a rivet. Real small. Yeah, it's a rivet or a grommet. All right, got a low tone out of the hole. And like I say, for some reason, I think especially with the 18 inch coil, once it's out, a lot of times bullets will go high, low, high, low. I don't know why. Uh, usually it'd be low, high, you know. But here we go, let's see what it is. It is in this clump of dirt somewhere. It is camp lid. Oh no, it's a fired bullet. <laughs> Interesting. Alright, here's a high tone out of the ground. This was actually in the side of someone's dig hole. I see a little bit of green. Oh, it's a rivet. That's right. Don't particularly like those, but they, they, every time I dig one, I think that could have been a cuff button, you know. All right, I got a high tone. <clears throat> I already pinpointed it. It's right underneath there. This is the best part about digging right here. You get to see what it is. And let's see. Let's see if we can pinpoint it again. It almost looks like I can see a little green in the dirt right here. I think this is going to be brass. Hopefully. Mm. It's on back there. Is a button. It's a looks to be a general service. Yep. Another one. Good stuff. There's a quiet high tone. I got a bunch of dirt out. Looks like it's more on the upper side of the hole. Let's see if we can pinpoint. Dig some more. Okay, I got some more dirt out now. Something's out. Let's make sure there's not another target. That's it, whatever it is. Sounds to me like it's probably going to be camp lead. 
Who's calling me? Father-in-law. He can wait. Or he can leave a message. She's probably calling to talk politics. That was a nail. I just have a hard time believing that that's what I heard. We're going to check again. I just don't think that's right. Seems like I hear a little something in the hole. Let's see what it is. Maybe so. Back in the flash. Okay, after I quit filming, I heard this in the side while I listened. Absolutely is something else in that hole. I'm going to dig some more out. Already got some more dirt out. Uh-huh. I'll get you yet. Trying to play hide and seek, huh? It's close right in there. Twenty bucks, it's brass. Or lead. There it is, it's the button. I knew it. I knew that wasn't what we heard. That's an eagle button, I think. Again. Not complaining because I love eagle buttons, but I would like to dig a state. J Doug in person. How'd you do? I got gotcha. you. Okay. It's about quitting time. People are leaving. Beautiful, beautiful sunset. Thank you, God, for an awesome hunt. Just the ability to be out here is incredible. But uh, if this signal is really good, if it's something good, it's going to be my last signal of the day, all right? By something really good, I mean like a state button or something like that. It was low tone in the hole, sounded weird, but it's real, really clean, and it's clean out. So here we go. It's a bullet. Hmm, that's an okay relic, so that's a pretty good relic, but it's not what I was thinking, so let's keep going. All right, guys, this will be the last signal of the day. I'm done. here I see green it's a button no wait a minute it's a belt stud cool I like those this one got leather on it I think awesome see you in the spring <laughs>